Hello, everyone. My name is David Maria, and I'm really, really pleased to be here with all of you today. So in 2018, I journeyed with two other friends to Africa, to Kenya. I was in Kenya with a friend of mine, and we were just enjoying the evening sunset, just looking out over, over the vastness of this, the African savanna. And three African kings appeared out, out, out of the horizon and started walking towards me. Um, I, I, I didn't just start crying. I started sobbing because I knew them. I recognized them. And uh, at, at one point, they invited me to come out into the bush with them. And I knew that they were inviting me to come and study with them. So we ended up in Kenya. And it turns out that there is a an annual prep prayer vigil that circumambulates around the mountain every year on December 27th. And then I was introduced to the seer, the person that was the one that was going to lead the invocation before beginning the prayer vigil. His name was Samuel, Samuel Kamitha. And when I looked at him, he was, he was the African king from my dreams. And he looked at me and smiled and said, David, I dreamt of you. And I smiled back and I said, Sam, well, I, I dreamt of you also. I was really calm, very calm, just as calm as I am now on the outside. But on the inside, I was completely falling apart. Everything was just this big energetic tornado that was going on inside of me. I was completely discombobulated, totally I, I I had lost, shall we say, my anchor, and I had no idea who who I was at that moment or where I was. And um, what Samuel told me, what he told me was that he gestured to to the crowd, which was just these really, really beautiful people, and he he said these are some of the kindest, gentlest, most sincere people that you'll ever met in your meet in your life and there's not a single one of person here except for me that knows who you are but my life is yet yeah, my life has completely changed top to bottom topsy-turvy since since then um i i often describe that in that first visit i went to africa and i did return except that david didn't so who, re who returned is the essence of who, who I am. There is no death. Believing that death exists is the, the most unkind lie that he has ever been told to the human race. And for whatever reason, we've accepted it. We've believed it. Yes, eventually, all of us are going are gonna to lose our physical body. That's, that, that's just to give, if you're born, whatever is born is, is going to die. But that doesn't mean that you die because you're not your body. Your body is something that you craft to be able to live in and hopefully connect with and live with your soul in it. That's, that's the whole purpose of being here is to remember who you are Cleanse your physical body. Remove all. Remove all of the, the layers that surround each and every one of us, whether those be fear or or unworthiness or shame or guilt or what it, whatever it might be. It, it it does not matter what it is. The object is to remove all of those layers until we're just. We're, it's just us. We're just here. We connect with our soul. And we, we live our life here as a human being, but yet we live through our soul, as our soul, but in the, in the physical body. And yeah, eventually we're going to drop it, but that's okay. Nobody is ever, ever, ever going to die. It is not going to happen. It is impossible. We are not just a reflection of the creator. There's, there's, there's the expression that has been said that 
um, we're just a drop in, in the eternal ocean that is creation. And that's actually inaccurate because we are that eternal ocean. We're not the drop. We are the entirety of the of, 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 of the ocean. And there's nothing that is separate from us. We are not separate from anything. And we are all connected directly with our creator. Whatever word you want to use, I, 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 I don't like to use words to describe that because it's an attempt to describe something that's inevitable. It cannot be described. It cannot be put inside of a container, and yet it's who we are. It's who you are. Finally, when we step out of all of the old ways of doing things, because we remember who we are, our connections are re-enabled inside of us. We, re we remember that we are connected to the stars. We are connected to the galaxies. We are connected to other dimensions. We are connected to other universes beyond this and in order to do that, in order to remember that, in order to realize that within, within inside yourself, there's only one thing that we really have to do. And that's very simple. We have to die. But it's not, it's not dying the way that people think of dying, because there's no fear in this. There's absolutely no fear. But you die to your old feelings or thinkings about who you are. So one of the first things that you discover when you, when you meditate, and you can, you can try this for yourself right now if you'd like, is just close your eyes and just feel into your body and feel that that stillness is already there even before you closed your eyes to begin to meditate. Or just to sit, sit and be quiet. You discover that that stillness is always there. Even when you're active and busy and out, out in the world, that stillness is still there. If you're in a place to where you're out in nature and you can hear birds singing, maybe you can feel the wind blowing through the trees or the flowers. You can feel it blowing across your skin on your face. And when you, when you really connect with it, the sounds that you experience, whatever they are, the wind that is blowing, and you sitting there, they are not separate things. You, whatever sounds that you experience, whatever whatever ex external things that arise that you experience, they are all the same. There is no difference. They are all one. As, 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 you, as you go deeper and deeper and deeper, you understand that there is no out there. If you look out there, you won't find what you're looking for. If you look inside equally, you may not find what you're looking for. And yet there is an awareness. There is a self-awareness that is present always, always. It may be quiet and you may have difficulty hearing it. It may not, it may seem almost impossible to quiet your mind enough to be able to sense that 
abiding presence that is always there. And yet even, even, even without our perception of it, it is always there. It is always there. And following that awareness leads you to the remembering of who you are. We are all the creators of our life. What, what, whatever that is. And what, one of the more difficult things that happens for us every now and then is that it becomes challenging to accept life the way that it is and until we till we fully accept responsibility for every, everything that happens in our life no matter what it is if it presents in, in, in our life that's our creation if it, if it happens to be something that we might consider to be a, a little ugly then we have we have to look at the fact that that that's our creation. There's nothing that happens to us from the outside world. It, 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 it doesn't work that way. We, we are the creators of our own lives. Even, even science knows this now at, at, at the level of quantum entanglement in quantum physics. They're showing that they're demonstrating in, 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 in their own way. They're, they're demonstrating that through our energy field, we are creating everything around us. When you wake, when you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes, that's you. You're looking at yourself. You're looking at your creation. Um, there, there's not a lot of peace in the world. There, there's not a lot of sharing amongst everybody i mean in in most in, in dis, indigenous cultures uh, across the planet the wealthiest ones within their society were the ones that gave away the most and they were the ones that were honored and respected the most in the world that we live in now that's topsy-turvy upside down because those that hoard and gather the most are now the ones that are that are looked at with that kind of breast, with that kind of prestige. When really and truly, everything on this planet is meant to be shared with everybody. There is no lack on this planet. It, it doesn't exist. There's no shortage of food, water, shelter, medicine, or anything. It, it's only because it's misallocated and certain individuals have managed to accumulate unnaturally. So if, if, if I have a huge amount of money, it's not meant to be stored in a bank, in a vault. It's not meant to be locked up. It's meant to be used, it's meant to flow. And our abundance is, is, is like that, our ability to be able to overcome whatever the situations are. And overcome is not even the right word, but to be able to find peace within ourselves so that we're no longer turbulent inside of ourselves. When you touch that stillness inside of you, when you close your eyes, that more than anything is is what is is what is needed on the planet. Yes, we we need to help feed everybody on our planet that's hungry. Yes, we we need for people to be able to find decent, safe, clean housing, and that's all within our capabilities. But right now, the way the world is structured. That's up to each individual to do. And remember, we come here, this is school. We come here literally to learn how to master energy. We come here to literally learn how to manifest whatever it is that we need or want in order, in order to expand the life that, that we have. And that includes helping and sharing others, others also. 
So for for those that are in really difficult circumstances, my heart goes out to you. My, my heart feels that. And at the same time, I, I encourage you to find that peaceful place inside of you. That will lead you. It will always lead you. The abundance is is all there. We, we we've been we've been shown this and, t- and told this by multiple teachers. It's all there already. There there is there is nothing. There is no lack that is going on in our lives. And so, what is the what is the difference between somebody? And we're not talking about everybody here. But what is the difference between somebody that is a uh, a caring and, and kind person, generous person, manifesting that, or 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 not, and it's because we have we have belief systems or impediments or layers inside of us that are stopping that abundance from flowing through. And one of the one of the big things that we can do is lose our sense of self importance because. None of us is, is, is that important. We're, we're not better than others. Not, none of us are better than others. And just let go of any place inside of you and, and discover any place inside of you that you feel not worthy of receiving this. You can't become wealthy through greed, not, not, not using the energy. You can become wealthy through greed in other ways, but not 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 this way, not this way. This way, you 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 literally dissolve yourself, your sense of self, and you free yourself from all of the impediments that 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 come up. And trust me, there there's there's a lot of them, and I'm not claiming to be perfect, not even close to it. And, and, and I, I still go through them. And w- yet when I do, things begin to happen really quickly. The energy begins to flow in a new way, in a surprising way. So what we do is we remove, we find and remove all of those impediments, whether it be unworthiness or shame or guilt or what, what, whatever it might be. And... Most people know that they have them, even even if they they have a really good persona on, on front that they they show to the world. But we all we all have those in, in inside of us, and eventually they come they come up, and we have the ability to feel them and let go. Thank you, Vivian. It has been a pleasure to be here with you. And thank you to all of the audience that will that will view this 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 video when, whenever you do. And I send you immense joy from my heart and many blessings.